activities. There are many national rules and regulations, but mostly, as they say, there are rules. So there are a lot of um, proposed dimensions and a lot of confirming rules. So that uh, the calculation of the glass can be avoided. And this happens a lot in uh, Germany, for instance. For glass balustrades, there's actually a table. And according to geometry, if you respect uh, the maximum length, the maximum height, uh, and some load conditions, you can go through a table and select. If you don't want to respect or the architect forces you to go outside of those norms, then you have the formulas to calculate. But as Germany, there's Austrian code uh, in Czech Republic, Dutch, British, French, and uh, the Joint Research Center with these uh, publications wants to create a single code, just like Eurocode. And uh, it already released some pre-European norms, which is uh, this pre-Euronorm uh, 16,612 and uh, this one. They are mostly similar. They have different, they add some rules but mostly they have the same formulas for calculating the capacity. And it will consist the basis of glass euro code due to the fact that they are calibrated to the load coefficients of uh, the euro code. So they will ensure the same uh, fiability or, uh, or reliability of the design. So we know that there is a um, 2% uh, or 10% uh, uh, chance to get a failure in 50 years. Uh, from what I've studied, uh, the Eurocode are under revisions and there will be a release of new updated codes. The trend is to simplify things. This is a trend. But I understand that the glass Eurocode will not be with the just next release. Hopefully, the, the other release will also bring the glass Eurocode. But uh, as you've seen in the intro, that doesn't stop engineers from designing glass all around.